you like about that new lineup? The pluses and minuses to the bigger lineup for you? Um, I think it helps. Uh, you know, when you put me and Jeff out there, especially, you know, you have to make a decision on who's going to guard. The smaller guy is always going to have to guard one of us. And knowing that both of us are strong post-up presence and good finishers at the basket, uh, it causes a dilemma, I think, on the defensive end for other teams. So, uh, you know, it's definitely an advantage because uh, Jeff can guard two guards. He can guard pretty much the one, the two, and the three. And so it's really not a mismatch on the other end. That's one of the best parts about your game is the post-up stuff that you've kind of gotten away from over the years, the old high low and having a small man on you, does that kind of light your eyes up a little bit? Well, yeah, we posted me up a lot more since uh, Jeff's been in the lineup because, you know, oftentimes uh, when Jeff gets it going, they'll put the better defender on him and I'll, I'll be caught with a smaller guy and uh, we can take advantage of the mismatches uh, throughout the game. You guys, when you're in your starting lineup, are kind of going big. Is that... Uh, you know, it just seems like the work for, your, for the group that you have right now. Is that fair? Uh, I, I say it is. I think the reason uh, people are going smaller is for the advantage. I'm just trying to be quicker, trying to you know, increase the pace. Uh, I think we're you know, doing the quite opposite. You know, obviously we're, trying to, we're still trying to keep the pace, a certain pace, but uh, for the most part, trying to you know, have an advantage in you know, either post up or advantage. So you know, I, see, I see why. A lot of us are the same size, so between me, Jeff, uh, Brandon Bass, you know, we can switch off on a lot of uh, on a lot of things. I figure, you know, especially with Brandon at the power forward, you know, there's not a lot of top-notch power forwards that I can't guard that he can that, that that he can guard that I can't guard. So, you know, between us three, I think it makes you know defending a lot easier. You call it pitch matches on the other end. Like it? That makes sense. <laughs> I don't even know what you're looking for, which no, however you want me to answer that, no, but that's like the it, answer. You like it for you guys, and it, it seems to work well. So yes, I, okay. yes, yes. Essentially, you guys are going to be showing an opponent in the lineup that they haven't really seen you guys play with for most of the season. Well, we hope this, this lineup that we have can continue to develop chemistry over these last few games. Uh, we haven't been out there much uh, as a unit now that Kevin's back. So within these last five games, we want to try to develop some chemistry. And uh, definitely, uh, we're probably going to catch some teams off guard, alter the way they play. Uh, but, you know, I figure at this stage of uh, the season, it's going to be uh, difficult for other teams to alter the way they play. So uh, you know, we're hoping this is success for us. The rhythm is important. Chemistry is important. Uh, but those those things are very, very sm small details, but are very important. Um, everybody wants to go into the playoffs playing well and having a the rhythm. Um, they having that chemistry, so those, those, those are important things. Can the bench now get consistency with the starters now established? And how important is that for you guys moving forward? Well, uh, I think our bench has been one of our biggest strengths all year long. Uh, with Jason Terry's leadership, uh, you know, it, it's tough. You know, because Jeff was was a main contributor off the bench. Now he's in the lineup, so but now he's giving other guys off the bench an opportunity and expanding their role. So uh, I think uh, with the move, that you're going to have guys knowing uh, what's expected of them, knowing uh, their definite role and you know uh, how much time they're going to get. And so that definitely can uh, improve in a lot of consistency, especially these last few games and going into the playoffs. Consistency is in this league, either. You know, they have the difference between uh, good teams and bad teams. You know, the consistent teams that do everything, know their system, run their system, know what they're doing every night. Those are usually the teams that are, are doing very well in our league or in any league. Um, the teams that go away or stray away from you know what their systems are, are usually the teams that struggle. You know, uh, I don't think in any profession you have bad players, bad you know members or whatever, but you know, in, a, in, a, in a team. Or in a, like we have here, you, know, you have to collectively bond with someone and bond with others. And if that bond ain't what it needs to be on a consistent basis, then it pretty much it was just nothing. You have the results that you have as a loser squad. So, you know, consistency is one of the hardest things in professional sports, if not anything. How do you feel about that bond on this team right now at, the, at a critical juncture of the season? Yeah, we're bonded, but you know, how, we, how, how consistent we, we are with our system and things, that's a different story. And that's why we're here. We continue to work at this thing and then play off start. It's all out. Yeah, right now, at this point, the chips are going to fall where they may. Uh, you know, our, our object right now is to improve every game, develop some consistency, uh, get healthy, 
uh, sort of where the sharpest can be come playoff time. How important are those little things to you on, on a daily basis as far as getting what, across what you need to get across to your teammates? Well, to the craft, I think people just overlook it because they don't even know. And that's what, you know, I'm sure we overlook things that y'all can do guys job that you when know, obviously see behind the scenes and the things that go into your preparation and what makes you successful in whatever you do, right? Uh, it's no different from the back from the game of basketball. You know, we're one step away from not knowing the guy's job and vice versa. You know, we put so much into it. And, uh, the detailed things are what makes this successful when it is successful. Um, leaving the small things out sometimes costs you a game. Costs you a, you know, a job or a story or whatever. So the similarities are very clear. Paul, is there a formula for you to get ready for the playoffs in your mind? Do you, have a, uh, you, know, do you know what it takes personally? For you to be ready come game one of the playoffs? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I mean, I've, you know, have, I have quite a, a little bit of play experience, I guess. <laughs> um, you know, I just know at this time of the year, you know, how to prepare myself on and off the court, how to be ready, what to do uh, in the gym, uh, what to do mentally. You know, I've been here. Uh, I've been in this situation before. You know, each part of the season, your, your mentality changes, your routine changes. Uh, as you get closer and closer to the playoffs, and uh, you know, I definitely don't have to prepare for this for this right now. How confident are you in this team that you guys can make another round run? I know all the injuries and stuff. But how confident do you feel like? I think as a team, we're very confident. You know, we never lack uh, any uh, lack thereof. We feel confident. So, since I've been here, we've always been a you know, close knit group. And uh, we never sought out to say that we was going to do X, Y, and Z. We always never play off the table, taking it one game at a time, and uh, focused on, you know, uh, not just each series, but each game. That's the, and that's, I think that's, that's the formula in which it's just out there that we're going to do. So, with this team and all the new guys, do you feel like you guys can, can uh, do some damage in post? I said yes. Yeah, you know, throughout the year, we've shown the ability to beat the teams at the top. Uh, you know, the only main concern is maintaining that level of play. Uh, for a consistent amount of games. You know, we've been up, we've been down, we've won six, he's lost four. Uh, hopefully we can hit our stride this coming week and going into the playoffs. If so, uh, I like our chances against anybody in the